Good day, gamers. Matt in the hat here, and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. Today we are once again playing some more Destiny 2 as we are heading into the week four of the season of the Witch content. I wonder what shenanigans our Guardian will be up to this week. Hope you guys enjoy. Now this week we are joined by a sick girlfriend. Did you see just dancing around over there? <laughs> Any news from the front? She won't be talking, she's uh, a sore throat and all that jazz. Hey there, Twinkles! He called his buddy Twinkles. Gonna hope Savathun left some tips about beating Zivu you can pick at. Because from where I'm sitting, Eris doesn't have a clue. I don't think you realize how lost you'd be without Savathun's plan. Even dead, she's smarter than you. That's a bit vain. She had it all figured out years ago. Take the Traveler, seal it away, keep it hidden from the witness, clean and easy. But there's nothing you guardians hate more than a plan you're not the center of. So you stormed the gates. Liberated your darling traveler and put it exactly where the witness knew you would. And now, here we are, with everything pretty much ruined. So go ahead, keep trying to outsmart Savathun when she's just trying to undo all the damage you've done. The Traveler didn't make a mistake when it chose the Hive. It was fixing the mistake it made when it chose <coughs> you. Well, that certainly is, um... It's very savage of him at the end there. <laughs> But, I mean, it makes sense. We did kind of ruin some of his plans, and now the witness has cut a hole in the traveler and gone into the inn now. Ah, but it looks like we finally get to tune our elemental cards once again. Did we say void? Ah, okay. So we're going to go grab the Ark card. Grab these bounties as well. Um, so we're going to go do two patrols. How fun. <laughs> uh, great. So two patrols in the throne world and defeat combatants using the elemental damage in the throne world. Great! I suppose that would be a good place to test out the Song of Iyut machine gun from the new reprised raid. So, we'll catch you guys after the public events are done. So the next step is to once again go for the Lost Sectors again. That's easy. That was a bad start. <laughs> right. Off we go to the Lost Sector in the Throne World. Come across a couple of brilliant names while we've uh, been on the Throne World here. Which will most likely be featured in my next names video when I around to sorting that out. Ignore the fact that I've just jumped off the edge. <laughs> and uh led the girlfriend off the broken path as well. <laughs> Oops. But now yeah we found Zer's treasure hall and uh ETA on that res. 
Lord knows how Zer's treasure whore got away with having whore in his title. But hey ho, <laughs> it's a brilliant name nonetheless. Is this gun causing high explosions? I don't know. That's how. Oh, missed. Three. Oh. Wrong super. Again. Should really be saving my arc ammo. Ah, the way forward is open. Oh, yes, this one is it. There's one symbol. Oh, actually, I think I have it sussed. We got one, two, three. Um four. Five. Was that not it? Is there more? Oh well, they seem to be activated. Oh, there's some... special dudes to kill. Uh... Is that it? Do we now have to open the door? Such a bizarre one. Oh, here we go. Finally. <laughs> There's a ritual circle there. <sighs> Visit Ikora in the plunge dive tank. Doing that was a bit of a. Uh, all the bits were all over the place. <laughs> so you gotta find five things, shoot those with arc weapons, and a bunch of hive spawn with green glows around their heads. Right, so Ikora is over here in last season's thingamajig. Or is she in here? Oh, she's in here. With us, though. Oh, Sloane's here as well. Welcome back, Sloane. It's good to be back. But from Masa's impressions, I guess this isn't a social call. Unfortunately not. What Howdy. do you know about Eris's plan? Only that she and Asa are bound by some kind of hive ritual. I was against it, but like Asa said, Sometimes we have to become our enemies to defeat them. That's exactly what concerns me. Sloane, I need to speak with her. No. Asa's done enough for the Vanguard. She's barely recovered from... Oh. <laughs> I will speak. Bound by covenant. Tithes held between... A current... You're helping Eris contain the energy from the tithes. Eroding. Hollowing. Release in time. Or rim 
remain bound without end. So it sounds as though Eris could get stuck. If the ritual goes on for too long, Eris will be trapped as a hive. That's exactly what I'm saying. And Asa will be corrupted. Twisted into something horrible. Ah. And Cora, I'll tear the tower to the ground before I let anything happen to her. <laughs> it won't come to that, Sloan. I promise. I thought she was about to turn to talk to us for a minute then. Uh... G'day gamer. <laughs> right, so back to the hollow projector again. Let's do this without my hood on still, shall we? <laughs> It did say hollow projector, right? Yeah. The hollow projector. That's Eris. I have been taking time to reflect on Ikora's conversation with Sloan and Asa. Oh, she heard it. Somehow. I knew there would be torment in embracing the hive and the poisonous squall of their violence. I thought myself prepared for it. I have lived long in shadow. And the shrieking horrors of the hive would provide solace from my quotidian dreams. When quotidian. I named the words, I evoked only their resonance. But Asa responded. She is a willing and vital catalyst to empower my morph, but her pain is real and immense. My aim in this grotesque conversion was to shoulder the risk myself. But feeding from Asa's suffering, that is a line I did not think I would cross. Guardian, keep by my side so that we may soon leave these deeds behind us. I refuse to become something I am not. Ah. I mean, we shall stand by all members of the Vanguard and the Tower. The radio message. The worm gods extract their sustenance from between what is and what might be, between the actual and the possible. When the hive made their ill fated pact with these worms, they gained immortality and the power to make of the world as they willed. Few beings in this universe derive their power this way. The Queen of the Reef believes it is the same method as the Ahamkara. Oh, the wish dragons were too dangerous to exist. So is Zivu Arath. My connection to Asa is regrettable. But this was the only path towards my goal. I invoked the worms, and she answered. And did you know that this would happen? It was possible, as all things are possible with this kind of power. This bond has not been attempted since the Worm Gods made their bargain with Witness. Yeah. Asa may have rejected it then, but the desire to overpower the universe with one's will is woven into her being. She is not beholden to it, not addicted or enslaved. The Deep is not her nature, but I have tangled myself within this desire through the use of the Staff's larva. Now I possess her power. This could kill both of you. That risk is ours to take. Hmm. Well, there certainly is some... some interesting conversations going on this week. I don't actually remember if I saw Eris in the Final Shape trailer. <laughs> so, maybe she does die, but maybe she doesn't. Because she is integral to destiny, more or less. But then, so was Cade, but... But, then again, he is coming back. Ooh, new cards to claim. New daily bounty. I like that. Um, ooh, 
an extension on our crystal timers. Not bad. Cool. And we can get ourselves a new bread bar. Seems they don't seem to be giving us this giving us these every week like they normally did. I will take the pistol, I assume. Oh, wrong one. Duh, <laughs> still the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> but mm, I accidentally knocked it out of it. But no, I guess that'll do for this week's content. Um, some serious conversations had been held across diamond, well, not dimensions, across different planets, I suppose. Ikora is still growing, increasingly worried about Eris being stuck as the hive deity that she is now. Uh, presumably that won't happen, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, um, we learned that Asa had essentially bound herself to Eris, I suppose. She's the only one of the worms that responded to her call. And uh, um, Savathun's ghost is uh, still saying that we ruined everything. <laughs> so yeah, all fun and games again this week, that is for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, not much physically happened I suppose, we just got our Ark Attunement cards. So now we can go through the spire and the other activity and grab those. That's about it really. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And stay tuned for more Power Simulator content and Destiny content. But for now, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.